Hey guys, Colby here, back to the test server with another Raid Shadow Legends video. And this is a brand new, I would say, S tier non void legendary champion that I'll be showcasing poisons, poison sensitivity, activation of poisons, activation of HP burns, increasing duration of, of debuffs, increased speed buffs, decreased speed buffs, all in one champion. We'll have a look at him right now. So the insane kit of Theodore, as I just explained, let's go over him very, very quickly in the way that he works. I have him equipped with refresh gear, re reflex set and perception gear. All of those are not required to make use out of this champion. He doesn't even need that many books for his skills. Overall, a fantastic hero added to the Night Revenant faction. Not that it needed the extra S tier legendaries in it compared to all the other legendaries that we have. But is a welcomed addition. It's gonna be hard to get him because you know we'll have to wait for a 10x and then get lucky with that and all that. But it's still a very cool champion. Fits the uh, the way that let's say Tomb Lord works with the poisons. Fits the way that Calvalax works with as many poisons as possible to apply them. He works great in there as well. The gear uh, thought process behind it is so that I can reset my skills as quickly as possible for those longer fights or for fights where you just want to get your skills up and running again as soon as possible so let's look at how he works a1 skill attacks all enemies decrease the speed of them by 30 percent at a 50 percent chance which is a lot actually it's it's a lot it's it's quite good to have that high chance on a decreased speed debuff and then we've got the a2 skill 100 percent chance when booked to apply two five percent poison debuffs and a poison sensitivity debuff as well and also places a buff on your team for 30% increased speed for two turns it's a three turn cooldown skill three books here and then four books here that's seven so far it's a very low in the requirement which I'm very very happy with then we look at chemistry I don't know if they wanted to write chemistry there anyway I'll go with it three turn cooldown with just two books very easy so we're at nine books already and there's no books on his passive so very very good at nine books increase the duration of all poison debuffs and HP and debuffs on all enemies by one turn then instantly activates any poison debuffs and HP and debuffs on each enemy places a 25% weekend on enemies not under poison debuffs or HP burn debuffs which is all right that means that um, th this skill basically does all of the damage that the poisons would do immediately and then the HP burn debuffs as well. It can work in any teams out there that utilize any of these skills or both of them. I'll showcase him right now. Uh, the masteries that I went with him is honestly, he doesn't really need to have any uh, the, like the War Master because he doesn't have attacks other than, than his A1. So the, the War Master procs are very limited. I would say you can go more of the support route and even go for Oppressor. So increase the Terminator fill rate by 2.5% for each active debuff cast by this champion. This can be used instead for extra Terminator boost instead of going the War Master. Or you could build him with more resistance if you're trying to use this guy as a champion to survive and solo any of the bosses out there um, he should be able to solo at least let's say the dragon with high regeneration gear and uh, high resistance as well um, plus the 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 amount of accuracy needed so it would be about 250 accuracy i would say 350 resistance i will go 80,000 health on this guy with 250 speed i know it's high but that's how those um those solo teams work but let's go and see the non-solo teams that i've made for this guy let's go for the dungeons so um the way that his activation works is that you can't really use him as a sole champion there to do that you can use him there to help and assist other champions let me explain exactly what i mean by that let's uh, see the preset that i have is this one okay it's a mixture of both legendaries and epics it will be a showcase of poisons, poison activation, uh, increase the duration of poison debuffs, and also the explosion that uh, Eleanor can, can do. So we've got four poisons here, two poisons here from Theodore, who's also in the lead for extra boost of accuracy. And then we've got Darkel there for the A1s 
for the boss specifically he's not going to be useful for the waves you got Kaimar for the reset and then of course we have Elenaro for the blast all right let's go and have a look at stage 24 not 25 because Elenaro gets those weak hits so uh, let's put it on a 1x speed we get some poisons going look at all those we got poison sensitivity another four poisons placed there dark hell increase the duration of everything and then we'll have combust just eliminate the waves with 400,000. you saw there that big burst we get a reset and everything goes again as before so we're looking at three poisons plus another four plus the increased duration there by dark hell eliminates them 500k this time so very easy to do here look at all the poisons that will be applied to the boss and the way that everything works here is where dark hell shines look at that burst by theodore immediately drops the boss to about 75 percent health i would say or 80 is that mark then the boss takes a turn immediately drops down to what is that 50 percent then we have dark hell getting his turn there and uh, just extra bit of damage over there we get a reset more poisons look at that activation by theodore and we go for a one minute team there insane uh theodore does a million damage dark hell does a million eleanor of course because she burst down the waves she did four million a fantastic team overall for the dragon um doesn't really work with 25, I would say, at least with Eleanor. I don't have Zavia to try that one. It should work the same way with Zavia for, for this boss right here. I don't expect any issues because everybody places their poisons and Zavia will not do weak hit, so there shouldn't be issues for 25. For 24, though, it's very doable with that specific setup that I've shown you. I can quickly go over the stats, actually, if you want to copy this very quickly. It's, uh, as I said, Theodore, 230 speed, Torres at a 218 prince kaimar 308 because he's my fastest one doesn't need all that he just needs to be the fastest of them all eleanor at a 251 she is faster because she needs to start the run with the poisons first and then uh there's dark hell which we want him to do his skill here which each critical hit also has a, a well it's a 100 percent chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs on the target by one turn this is very good and that's why i've built him with almost 100 percent crit there um we were facing spirit so he would be uh, at 100 percent with that and he would be able to increase the duration of all the the debuffs but because theodore works like that he also works with activation of hp burns and now let's have a, a look at theodore for the spider he works the same way that ccia does you need a reset champion for this but because he's got a low cooldown of three turns on his activation skill you can actually have um a i would say renegade in there you can't really go with pain keeper for this one but renegade still works might not work so good for the cold heart because you will need to get an extra turn but you might not even need that one uh to get that going so let's get started with the run and see it in action it's it's honestly the same way that uh, the ccr works because he utilizes the h burn activation to do all that damage we get 700k crit there from the cold heart look at the h burns there he keeps that there at a three turn duration look at all the spiralings getting their turn there's the cold heart again and we'll have the activation right about now boom look at that 21 seconds to do the run you can actually get it faster i would say and for some reason he shows that zero damage i'm guessing because he activates the h reverence and nothing else so overall fantastic um, way to utilize this guy in multiple ways so not just uh let's say for the spider like you would use ccf for but uh just look at this so easy dragon uh 25 i would say if i didn't have uh eleanor wow look at all that damage there so make this run it uh, makes this run a, a little bit longer boom look at that and i can probably maybe not even use yumiko and still do all that uh, let's say if i had if i remove uh yumiko from in there if i move yumiko and put cc out there it's probably going to be uh maybe even a faster run than this so let's let's try it very quickly with with both activators aoe activators there so it should be just cold heart with the big a3 no reset right here so i wonder how this will go boom like so 
there's the one there's the second one and then they take their turns and ah those animations there look at that it was so close it was so close i think one of the spiderlings died it was a little bit too much damage there uh i wonder if i if i put this at unlimited frames uh unlimited frames if this will be like a faster run let's try this again should be should be something really fast but the fastest time i think on spider is like 12 seconds with double cecia so there's the hp burn there's one of the spider links with no uh no hp burn so that was unlucky that's why we don't have a good run now so you basically have to get the 100 percent placement of the hp burns so no resists so there's the one you get no resists now then burst burst and then come on die take a turn yeah <laughs> there it is 18 seconds um i bet i can make it faster with a little bit more tweaking but you see or, or already there the potential of theodore a poison and hp burn activator i think it's a fantastic kit to have on a champion he is as good or even better than cci in that sense because he does provide so much more through his kit with the increased speed and decrease speed it means you can even put him there for the hydra for the h burn activation it adds on top of the damage potential that your teams can be doing uh, you can add him to the clan boss team but the increased speed and decrease increased speed will will play a difference the decrease speed will not be affecting uh, the boss he will only be providing damage throw through the poisons and the poison activation his war master is, is just going to be very minimal with his a1 skill and the resistance that this guy gets because of the passive is nothing i would say amazing is not that it's unusable unusable but um you need to apply the poisons first multiple poisons get, get him to have let's say up to 50 resistance for each debuff on an enemy team so on the spider with uh, i think it's 11 enemies you'll have over 550 resistance just because of that which is insane but you don't need it uh there if you want to have him as the spider tank maybe <laughs> maybe you could do that maybe with the life still set uh maybe i'll do that in another video i have a, a team already in mind with this and the way that the aoe attacks work uh that could be a fun one <laughs> anyway guys thanks a lot for watching subscribe if you haven't if you did like theodore leave it down in the comments and i'll see you in the next one see ya